What's up, y'all? Coming to you with another YouTube video, or rather another reading for you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. It's in the lower right-hand corner right there. You see over there? Go look like right underneath the video. You'll see it. Coming to y'all with another um, video, and unfortunately, some of y'all may not like this video, because I'm about to tell you what's coming for you. Um... I like to bring Ishu out, or Papa Legba, whoever you want to call him. I call him by both names because sometimes to me I see the same entity. So we're going to let Ishu sit here with us and read for us, okay? We're going to ask Ishu to open the roads up for us. And we're going to ask Ishu to um, help read these cards so you can understand, okay? Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, I am available for reading. You can hit me in my inbox here, or you can hit me on Facebook. My name is Bruja Africana on Facebook as well. I really don't take Instagram requests, but you know, you can add me as a friend there and then find my Facebook page from there and add me if you want to do a reading. But let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, somebody may not like this reading because it is, it's telling you that the overall point is your relationship is about to end or it has ended and you have not accepted it you need to go ahead and accept whatever is to come but maybe you don't know the three of pentacles is showing up because it's saying that you've been putting in a whole lot of work in this relationship without very with very little return and here you are with the two of cups in re in reverse that means that you know your relationship is rocky you have thoughts in your head of you want this person to be your one. You want this person to be that person that makes your heart sing and tickles your asshole. But that ain't that person. In fact, you know, the universe is sending messages to you, letting you know this shit is unstable. It was never stable. It was built on this person got with you under the guise of uh, trickery. This person was messing with somebody else. And they came and they brought you into their relationship. It's a man. A man who possibly, uh, he was dating somebody else. Or he was fucking around with an ex. And him and the ex got some type of foolishness going on. See, they're tied together, whomever him and the ex are. They've got some type of connection. Um, he's using you. You were a backup relationship for him. Universe is asking you to open your damn eyes while you're dealing with this man. Regardless to whatever it is that he's putting in front of you. Universe is saying it's not true. This man is not in a good space. He has not changed. He's still who he is. And he's growing impatient with you. I don't know why he's projecting that onto you. I don't know why he's making it like you're the one who's the issue, but that relationship is not real. He He's stringing you along. And most assuredly, whatever is going on is about to end. You are something for him to do right now. If you believe you're in a relationship because he's doing things for you or he's posting pictures of you or posting pictures with you or whatever you all have going on, it's not real. This is a facade. The universe is saying that once this man makes up in his mind that he's leaving, he's going to leave. I don't know for sure that this is really a relationship. But there is going to most assuredly be an interruption in whatever it is between the two of you. Um... Also, with the Four of Cups showing up in this specific deck, it speaks of a possible abortion. So, he may have gotten somebody else pregnant already. Somebody had an abortion. And it wasn't you. This man is out here doing whatever it is he's doing. And he doesn't care how it makes you feel. Does he feel a little guilty about what he's doing? Sure. But he ain't going to communicate that with you. Um, maybe you've been trying to have kids with him and you can't. 
or you're trying to make this situation grow and the fertility card has come in in reverse meaning that this situation has no growth there is no forward motion for it and universe in this pile is suggesting that maybe you pay attention because he's got a history with whomever this other person is that he's dealing with um yeah he has a history with this person and you need to be careful universe is saying that you need to move the fuck on um here's the six of swords card let me come over here here's the six of swords card showing up that's either saying that you need to move on or he's going to move on from you whoever this person this man is you're dealing with his intent ain't right you this may have been a rebound relationship for him and you put more into it than what he ever would have again he had not made up his mind what it is that he truly wanted but you are going to try to fight to save this and you're gonna lose because he's lying to you he's feeding you a bunch of lies and you're believing it and you're eating it up yeah here he is he's he's not a good dude he's showing up in the prince of cups in reverse this dude has a shitty history with women but this who you want to be your man this who you think your man is universe said no man move your ass on what the fuck is you doing you're having a hard time moving on from him and look here look he's in reverse meaning that he's causing you to lose in your life think about the things that you've either given up lost or not even things like physical things what is it that you're giving up for this relationship emotionally physically all of that like are you giving up your self-esteem honey he's dumping something out with you he's causing you to be he's he's the source of any any loss but universe says that you're not listening and, and you're too old for that here you are allowing yourself with the queen of cups you're emotional and you're losing you 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 right next to him dumping your cups out when in reality universe is saying you just need to move on and you know you need to move on you may think oh i asked for this i asked for this man to come into my life and what he brought you and you you got what you asked for universe hurt you but you know universe had told you prior to dealing with him don't fuck with him but you begged to be in his life you know you did whatever it was that you needed to do to be in his life you you, you whatever you did you did that shit and now he's in your life and so is his other women now they are too see let me remind you this man got a shitty history with women but you know you thought that you would be the one to change him you thought that you will be the one that did whatever it is that you are doing. You think that he's going to marry you. You think all of that. And I want you to understand. These three women ain't going nowhere. These women. Let me put it like that. They're not just only three. Um, universe is saying. You're up worrying. And you're wondering what he's doing. And you like he's not doing this. And he's not doing that. You had a power to free yourself from this situation. But you're holding on to it that's you holding on to it there is no growth coming from this situation honey in fact he's about to break your heart right now i think that he y'all have some type of relationship but it is most assuredly a rebound situation it's not a it's not the relationship that you think it is in the traditional sense of relationships this is a rebound and he's about to bounce um He's out of balance. You don't. You. I don't mean to say this harshly, but you are not what he wants. Sometimes we have to accept that, you know, relationships don't work sometimes because it's not who we're supposed to have in our lives. He's most assuredly withholding things from him. And not only with the four of pentacles is he re withholding things you're withholding shit from yourself you're holding you're holding yourself back from shit and and you're not really satisfied with what's going on and it's also almost like a burdensome situation because yeah he's cheating on you and you know he is but again 
You allow these losses to happen in your life. You allow all of this to happen because for some reason you just got to have this man in your life. He ain't going to be there too much longer. Here's the death card. The transformation, which means the thing, there are absolute changes coming to this situation. Where is that you're refusing to see what it is that's going on and accept that universe has already told you this situation is coming to an end. You've already been warned. Universe told you. You have seen the signs. You have you got to fight to make your presence known in his life. Um, look, you fighting other women. Look at you. You fight with other women with these staves. These are communication cards. So you going back and forth with other women about him. And here he is in the background, the sun. So we might be dealing with. Now, let me leave that alone. But here you are fighting with these other women. Universe and already put it in front of you that this relationship ain't going to last. That's why you were able to see and find out about the other women. That's why you're not able to trust him, but you're not listening. You know that this man is out here cheating. You already know it. You already kind of know, even in the back of your head, that you might even have been a rebound relationship. You're thinking that, oh, well, if I just, we talk about it, we can start over. No, you can't. There's no new beginnings for y'all. There is no more forward movement on this relationship. You've already been told that. So let me make sure that I put the completion card back up top. This is why everything is in reverse. This is why your movement card and your new beginnings card is in reverse. Because this situation has run its course. But you're refusing to let it go. You're refusing to let it go. You think that if I change this or if I change that or if I do this or I do that... Or require this, that, and third from him, he'll change. No, ma'am, he'll just cheat smarter. Remember this card? He'll just cheat smarter. You're not doing anything but setting yourself up for further heartache, honey. Universe is asking you to pay attention and look. Be smart. Here's the moon card that's showing you his intentions aren't right, love. But you're still having a hard time moving on. Here you are again with these cups. Well, You'll have a choice but to move on. Look like it with the Five of Cups. Looks like he might leave you. It looks like he's going to take control of the situation and walk away from you. And you're going to have a hard time letting him go. But you need to let him go. Because if you let him go, the universe will put the man in your life that's supposed to be there. But this person isn't supposed to be in your life. You know it too. But you continue to deal with it. This person, he's not giving you what it is that you want or think you want in a relationship because you don't really know what it is you want. All you saw was a popular person or a person that you thought was your man and it's not. He's not. The universe is asking you with the star card coming in in reverse to take care of yourself and stop making these immature ass decisions that you're you're making regarding this man because you know he ain't he out here spending money on other women honey look here he out here spending his money up with other women you know yeah he may do for you but he's doing for them as well so be ready for his money to run out shortly and when his money runs out shortly honey most assuredly he's gonna run out um you think that you know things can change if you like i said you do this 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 and this that man ain't gonna change honey this man is is who he is, and who he is is a dishonest ass, using ass, wild ass man, and you may as well accept him for who he is and go ahead and move on. Here you are again. So, y'all may have broken up in the past or got close to a breakup. Y'all didn't break up. This time y'all are about to break up, and it'll be over with. Um, yeah, your fortune card is coming in in reverse. There's an ending coming for this situation. Y'all will not communicate anymore after this situation has done what it's going to do. You are going to be extremely emotional behind the situation because you do love him. You may even make some fucked up bad decisions behind this. Um, You may be thinking, maybe if I have a baby by him, da 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 you can't have children. Stop lying. Your tubes are tied. You've been up this road before with men. You know what it is. You know that when you hit this situation with these guys, you already know what time it is. You 
you've done this before. Again, here you are making immature decisions. You making stupid, irrational decisions now. Thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll have a baby. You're willing to sacrifice your life for this man. He ain't in it like this, sweetheart. He's not. This man is young-minded. He does little kid shit. He has other women. He's dealing with other women. With the world card coming in reverse in this spread, that just show you he doing dealing with other women. And most surely that dick is out here, honey. The King of Swords, yeah, he's swinging and swinging and putting that shit out there. Community ass dick, huh? And it looked like with him putting his dick out there, he might be producing some babies too. Not with you though. It ain't with you. Y'all, uh, you may have been pregnant with by him and you lost the baby. But you and him won't have any children. You and him are at the situation. He's already trying to think about how he can remove you from his life. He's Whereas that you're thinking that this situation is going to grow into something beautiful and growing this is it's gonna you, you're thinking it's gonna turn out in your favor and it's not this man is already thinking about how he can get out of this relationship he's not satisfied and it's not your fault this is him he has that shitty past with women i want you to understand that this, this is just who this guy is um universe is just saying to you your cups will he's gonna empty he's gonna drain you emotionally before he leaves um he feels like being in this situation with you is a burden to who he is he's not able to be whomever he is and who he is is a free dick motherfucker that's out here putting his dick everywhere and you allowed him to come into your life he does not have a strong attraction to you honey uh, i don't know what this situation is but it looks like he came and you may have helped him financially. And now that you've helped him get on his feet, he's ready to go. See, this is why I be telling women to stop doing this shit. Stop picking these men up saying, oh, I can clean him up a little bit. No, the fuck you can't, honey. No, you can't. No, you can't. You know, you women communicate these stupid ass ideas, you know. And then you wonder why a dude does what he does. He has the worst history with women. But the crazy shit is, after he breaks up with you, because here's y'all end right here. Y'all are coming to an end. This situation between you and him, no matter what you think it is, this situation is about to end. But the craziest part, the craziest part, he's going to marry the next woman that he's with, and it ain't you. Ain't that some shit? After he breaks up with you. You see, what you did was you scrubbed him up for the next bitch. You cleaned him up for the next woman. You let him get his last little issues off. And he gonna go be faithful to his queen of staffs. He gonna go forward and marry the next woman. Not you. This is what's standing and waiting for you and him. He's, when he breaks up with you, he gonna go right over to wherever woman he's been seeing. Or whatever woman that has been on his mind. Because it won't be a woman that's brand new to him. No, it's a woman that he's been knowing or he had prior dealings with before he dealt with you. So after he's done with you, he getting ready to go get married to her. He will most assuredly marry the next woman. And you want to know why he's going to marry that next woman? Because you cleaned him up. You know, see, you can't tell a woman. You can, I can't tell you women. Remember what the fuck you worth, bitch. You know, y'all out here cleaning and scrubbing motherfuckers up and getting them together. And they go right on over here and marry the next woman. I don't know what to say more to y'all. I just, remember what you worth, bitch. What is wrong with you? Because this situation with that man is done. And I'm going to make sure I show it to you and say it again. You scrubbed him up and cleaned him up for the next woman. Let me, let me show you. Let me pull it over here. Because I know y'all like to play like y'all don't know what the fuck you're seeing up in front of you. But yes, the fuck you do see this. This is his queen, honey. You're not his queen. You scrubbed him up. You went and you scrubbed him up and got him together. And now he getting ready. When y'all break up, 
He getting ready to go right over here and marry this next woman. Hmm. Well, all I can say to you going forward is stop cleaning men up. Stop scrubbing men up. Stop thinking that you can pray a nigga up in your life and that's going to be it. No. Stop it. You did all of this. You did all of this. You tolerated all of this and did all of this here shit so that he could clean himself up and clean his behavior up and come over here and marry this woman. Because that's exactly what he's getting ready to do. Marry the next bitch. Stop doing this shit, ladies. Take care of yourselves.